This is the Lakeshore Carbide War Mill, roughing end mill. We've talked about it on a bunch of videos lately. Here's what I don't know, and we're gonna find out. Can I interpolate a hole out with this? And you'll, as you can see here, roughing end mills leave a serrated, sort of rough textured finish. Can I use that as a pre-ream drill, interpolated hole, and then with our 0 .7505, reamer get a good reamed hole. I don't have the right 735 drill to do this sort of the normal way and we could use a half inch finish uh, end mill I think if I had one long enough which I might but I'm really curious to see how does this work because if it does it'll be a good recipe. Let's take a look. So I will mention, we set the, well, actually I'm not sure you can hear me. Ooh, that is some chatter. Um, hmm. So the concern is you've got so much engagement on that first little bit of motion. Hmm, let me try it again and just see how bad is it. What I was trying to say actually, sorry, was that um, we set it as a pre-drill position, so it's plunging straight in, um, in, in theory, air, and then it's going out radially. So I know the beginning of that sounded pretty horrendous, but that's because when it's plunging in to a half inch hole, there's so much engagement as it makes that first pass, you know, something like 270 degrees of the tool is engaged. So one solution would be even to drill this out, uh, you know, this is a half inch tool, even just to drill it out to, um, you know, five eighths would help aid a lot. Um, but because you heard it, once it was out further, not the worst thing in the world. So there's our surface finish. Honestly, not as bad as I, thought it might be. Uh, really actually not bad at all. Um, it's certainly textured and rough, but not as bad. So let's stick the reamer in and see. Too long for uh, current setup, so we will use the bridge port.
Feels good. That was uh, 200 or so RPMs. So this is a 0 0.7505 reamer. Take a look. Looks great. Mm, feels a little, feels a little loose. Let's mic it out and see. Seven fifty two over reamed. Hmm, I wonder if that was uh, me pushing it too hard or maybe I let I, hell I, I left fifteen thou thinking that that was uh, really the right amount. Seven fifty two. Um, check it up here. What do you guys think? Is it? Um, yeah, it's miking out 751.9, but that's a thou and a half over. I mean, that's a, that's a mile off on a reamer. In fairness, this is the only reamer I've gotten anywhere close to it, and it is a used reamer. Um, but I used it somewhere else, and it was okay. So I think it is, yeah, I mean, good news is it's consistent. Obviously, Adam could handle this part of it on his own. It's no big deal for him to take a you know, to me to leave him a pilot hole and he could drill it and dream it himself, ri dr the, drill it and ream it himself. But that's not how I want to send Adam apart. So what do you guys think? Should I try this again and leave less? Should I try it with a finish end mill? Um, I don't think I can mic across the lands. Well, I guess I can, let me see. Um, is this gonna really give me an accurate yeah, if I, okay, so if I mic across the reamer itself, it's actually giving me 7505 spot on. So uh, I guess that's good news. My tool might be okay. I just over reamed it. I wonder why. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. Thank you. Well, sorry. The good news is we, we over reamed it, but it didn't seem like the fact that we left, we used a roughing end mill meant this was like a no-go. So I actually think this is gonna work. We just gotta tweak something. Let me know, folks. Thanks.